hello and welcome back to my channel today is something a bit different it is a haul but it's not a new in haul and it's probably not going to be things you can click and buy but it's going to be a bit of inspiration and telling you how to buy and where to buy vintage pieces from and showing you my collection of vintage pieces but saying that i will scour the internet and link any of the items that i can find available online so that you can buy them and they'll be in the description box down below um before that i just want to show you this jumper that i just got in from a dorothy perkins haul which i'm going to film directly after this because i just got so many bits so i was like this has to be a haul um so that will be coming later this week i'm sure but yeah, I just have realised that I've gathered quite the vintage collection over time. So I thought um, it would be a nice little video to show you at all. Also, it's so way more sustainable to shop vintage pieces that will last forever and that won't go out of style. So I just thought I would show you what I've got to hopefully inspire you to think about shopping that way. Because honestly, like some of these pieces were expensive, but nowhere near what you're paying for new. And some of them... I mean, were just really not expensive at all. So they were just finding gems. So I'm gonna link all the websites where I found them all so that you can maybe find something too. The first thing I ever bought that was secondhand designer. The first thing I ever bought was such a good investment because I got it just before it became huge. Um, so it was this little vintage deal saddle. Obviously they re-brought it out shortly after I got this and the whole world went mad, but they brought out obviously a 2019 version, which was, you know, totally upgraded. So yes, this is small and thin and not quite like the new ones, but it is vintage and, um, it's really cute. It's the original saddle canvas bag. And this cost me, I think, £230. Um, they go, they're going on Vestia now from anywhere up from like £400. Um, you can still find some that are about £200. So I'll try and link some. Um, but they are rarer. And this is now in the shop well over £1,000. Not the vintage version, but the new Dior version. So this is from Vestia. Vestia is one of my go-to sites. But I'm going to be honest. It's probably more expensive. It's the lazy way to shop because you know it's going to be authentic because they check it. Um, and you know it's not a scam because it's a real website and you pay a premium for that because they obviously, you have the person selling it who wants £200 for it and then you have Best Year who's like, well, I would make £100 from this too. So things are a bit more pricey on there than if you scour the internet to find it in some dark corner somewhere. Um, but it is a safer way to shop vintage pieces. Love it. I got it because I was watching Sex and the City at the time. I feel like there was a time um, a couple of years ago when everybody in the world was kind of re-watching Sex and the City and then everything in it came back around which will actually lead me quite nicely into the next thing that I bought which was also from Vestia. Beamy little Fendi baguette. It's so gorgeous. It's woolly and it has got the Fendi monogram. You'll notice a theme here that everything I get is pretty much monogram because for me, I mean, that's what makes them vintage and iconic. I think that, like, the thing about shopping vintage is you should try and get the print because um, the print always stays. The print is always coming back around. Um, so, yeah, that's my personal opinion. Um, like, Fendi bags that aren't even the Fendi baguette that are vintage. They're just a random Fendi bag. If they've got the monogram, they're going to be great. But the baguette is the one that is what everyone seems to want at the minute. I love this colour because it's really neutral. Um, how much did this cost? I think this cost me about... About £250-£300 as well. Um, and again, I got it from Bestiaire. So you know it's authentic. Um, so yeah, that is that one. I also love this little one. It's so cute. So this skirt I got from eBay. This is like a dream. It is a vintage Dior monogram mini skirt. And people ask me all the time when I say that I buy things from eBay, how do you know it's authentic? 
Well, firstly, I have, I already had um, some geo bits to look at to see if the kind of markings, tags, um, and labels inside looked the same. Secondly, um, quality in it, you can tell by things like seams, buttons, um, zips, like they're not gonna be saying Dior on them if they're fake, probably. Um, and lastly, um, if it is somebody selling fakes, they're probably selling hundreds of fakes. If it's someone selling their old vintage Dior skirt, they've probably got one thing on eBay. Um, what else? I would say, uh, well, for this, like, I Googled the skirt, um, and, like, on that actual Dior, like, archives and things, like, all these little, um, things, I don't know if you can see, but they all say Dior on them. Um, it doesn't say made in China. That's a massive thing. But, yeah, what was I going to say? Yeah, I Google the skirt. Google Dior monogram skirt. Find sites that are le legit. Find sites um, that are Dior, if you can. And look for their monogram skirts. And if it looks different, if there's anything slightly different about it, don't get it. But at the same time, this was £70. So I was not risking a lot of money if it wasn't. Um, and I personally think it is. So... Sorry if you think otherwise. The next thing I have is not Dior vintage, but Dior kind of reworked. It's a really good way to make cool jewelry. So if you go on Etsy, they, and search in like Dior button, Chanel button, people just sell, people go to cherry shops, buy uh, like a Chanel jacket that's got a big hole in it, can't possibly be sold, and take all the buttons off and rework them into jewelry. So basically you can buy a necklace like this, um, where it's like a button, I don't know if you can see. You can buy from websites, vintage, like Instagram, popular stores, um, like a button on a chain, probably for like 70 pounds. Or you can go straight to the source and buy the buttons and make the jewelry yourself and these are about 10 pounds. So that is one of my top tips to do it if you see something like this and you think, wow, that looks so nice, but it's really expensive, it's like 70 pounds. I see it all the time on Instagram, just cut out the middleman, go to Etsy, buy some old buttons and make your own jewelry. Next, I got this um, Dior bag from Audrey Layton Vintage, which is said Instagram vintage brands. Um, but this was really affordable, this was sold to me for 70 pounds i think but yeah i don't wear this enough i think it's really cool i need to use it more um but it's just like a little overnight dior bag and i love it okay i'll just show you my last dior vintage thing that i have because this was probably one of the best buys of my life but i'm not gonna lie i think they're too small for me so i might have to sell these on um these shoes i can't remember the, what the website was called but i will find it and link it down below but these dior shoes were 30 pounds they are so cute they've got the dior pink print around the edges obviously they're worn they've got the dual there little kitten heel like can you even cope that they were 30 pounds? But I do think they're too small. And I keep forgetting, like they've been in my cupboard, I haven't worn them, and I think I've had them for a year. Um, look at the print, it's just so gorgeous. Like there's wear there, obviously. Um, I think I've had these for over a year and I've never worn them. I keep meaning to just like wear them around the house to try and stretch them out with my big feet. But, um, hasn't happened yet i've worn them obviously to take a picture but didn't get much further than just putting my feet on my bed and taking a picture so yes this is something that i love but might have to sell but these were 30 pounds can you believe it like deal of the century i'm going to miami in march and i'm just like these are so miami speaking of things that are so miami this is my latest buy i'd seen them on the internet a few times found a few on bestiaire and didn't get them because i thought they were quite expensive then when i saw kylie jenner post on the on instagram wearing them i just thought damn it like now they're really gonna go up like everyone's gonna want them so i need to take the plunge so i feel like it was fate i saw the picture i went over to bestiaire typed it in 
There they were, 70 pounds, signed, sealed, delivered at the door. Wow. Look at these little Chanel babies. Aren't they just so cute? I have a ski trip planned um, as well before Miami. And I just thought like at lunch with these, like something fluffy around here. I'm just gonna look so Real Housewives of, like super extra, but it's gonna be great. They just got this a gorgeous pinky tone to them and the rhinestone at the sides, they're in perfect condition. And they were 70 pounds. These are so coming with me to Fashion Week too. Actually, before the Prada nylon bag situation became a hit, I just wanted um, a cool backpack and I thought this was really cool and it was 300 pounds. I got this from the Vintage Bar, which is another good site. Um, it's a bit more vintage than the other ones. Like it's definitely got some wear to it. Um, you can see like around the edges, but I still think it's really cool. Nylon backpack. Again, I don't wear this enough. I think it's because I don't want to wear it actually as a backpack. I try and have it on my arm like this and then it feels really weird, but I think I need to, oh, having ideas now, thinking that I could put my Prada strap around it or something. I'm gonna have to have a play around with that for my Prada handbag. But that is, I just think it's really cool. Again, I took it skiing with me last year and it's just so cute to have things in it. It's just nice when you need a backpack to have something that's designer. <laughs> I was going to say stylish, but you can get stylish backpacks anyway. Like, this is extra, I'm not going to lie. Um, but yeah, it serves me well. Because, you know, you do sometimes just need the backpack. Sometimes you just like, really? I want something nice and fashionable. That's the one. Okay, we are coming to the end. This is the last thing I got, which I actually think is probably the best deal of all. Um, again, these were from eBay. They were 80 pounds. They were on for, oh, another thing I've got to say, make offers. They were on for 130 pounds. And I was like, I really want them. Don't want to spend 130 pounds. YOLO was like, maybe they've been on there for ages and they just want to get rid. Literally, put in an offer for £80 and got an instant reply saying this offer has been accepted. Wow. Um, again, I think I got an offer accepted with the Fendi bag. You can put offers in on this year. Um, it's always worth making an offer for lower than it is on there because you never know how long that person's been trying to get rid of it for. Uh, but also, I do get, I do feel bad making an offer because I know when I've got stuff on eBay and someone makes an offer or Depop and they're like one pound and you like jog on. Um, and it just makes me think I'd rather give it to charity than you to be honest. But um, from the buyer point of view, I get it. These are the boots, <sighs> Gucci boots. I Googled them first to see if they exist, see what they look like. Um, the lathe, the shoe sole is very authentic Gucci logo. I mean, to me, they just seemed legit. Again, it was a person just selling their boots. It wasn't somebody just selling loads of stuff. But this um, detail was a popular design for Gucci. If you look, it's horse bit, which is actually what is on all the loafers. This thing with like that across it. They just have two gold things. Do you know what I mean? I feel like I'm... I'm saying a lot but saying nothing um but anyway this bit has been taken from this style and put into the new gucci loafers and boots but i love this i love the toe shape i love the heel i just think they're gorgeous and you can take all this stuff out if you just want a plain printed gucci boot but these were 80 pounds and they fit like a glove and i just can't wait to wear them so I actually couldn't choose a favourite, but right now it's these, but I know that they're heels, so they're not going to be my favourite once I start wearing them, because they're going to hurt me. Thanks for watching. I hope you found this at least a little bit useful. I've been blabbering on, I don't even know what I've said, so if I've missed anything, or if you want to know or ask any questions, do feel free to leave questions for me. I do get back as much as I can. Um, please subscribe, because then I'll do more videos. Um, yeah, I would really appreciate if you could subscribe. I know it's annoying if you don't have a Google account, but like Google emails come in handy. You have to enter them sometimes to other websites too. Like, that's it.
that's another top tip for you um but please give me a thumbs up if you like this and let me know if you prefer um, uh videos like this are a bit different to just like let's face it a zara haul <laughs> thanks for watching have a lovely sunday who's watching love island me see you later